All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about how to switch from marketing agency to media mogul today. And if you're a media, uh, a marketing agency owner, I have a question for you. Are you overworked? Are your clients unappreciative? Maybe you've gone through the scenario, run through a couple scenarios here. Number one, maybe you had a, a client come to you, they agreed for one project to be done. Next thing you know, scope creep pops in and they've got seven other things they want you to do. You know, it's just a simple squeeze page and 10 follow-up emails. You can write the copy and get that page done in like a day, can't you? Right, these things that happen. Uh, that when you are building a marketing agency, you get the phone calls on the weekend, you get the phone calls late at night, and you're looked at as somebody who is being paid as a workhorse, somebody who is being exchanging dollars for your time and moving forward. So I did this for years. We've been the hired gun for a lot of online marketers, big names out there, paying us 10,000 to 25,000 a month to, to do work for them. And the thing is, we were always exchanging time for dollars at that time. And we also, things were sometimes would just never be good enough. We, and they grumble about having to pay us because it became an expense, not an asset, right? And the same thing, even our, we have a local agency side where we charge 1500 a month and it was the same thing. We get them eight to one ROI, they'd still complain about it, but it's great ROI. The th problem is we were becoming a, co a commodity and expense in their eyes. So with that, I decided, all right, we gotta change this up a little bit. We gotta flip the script. We gotta find something different. And what led me to this whole process of one of our clients was going and spending $5,000 to have one email sent. He was investing for one guy to go send him one email for five grand. The guy maybe spent 30 minutes on the project and that was pretty much about it. And then he would send the email out. That was it. It was like, wham, bam, thank you. Appreciate the help. And that was, and raved about the guy that would just send one email. Yeah, we're over here building funnels, running paid traffic, creating reports, showing up to weekly meetings, all that stuff, right? So this guy for 30 minutes of work had made $5,000. We were putting in about 80 hours of work for these clients uh, with the whole team involved uh, for you know anywhere from 10 to 25,000, depending on the amount of work we were doing. And so when it broke down to it, he was making almost $10,000 for an hour's worth of work and we were making about $100, $125 for an hour's worth of work, depending on the project. So what, when I realized this, I decided, all right, I gotta do something different. I gotta do something that's completely opposite of what we're doing now because this isn't gonna fly. We can't scale. If you're the hired gun, you're the biggest challenge. Uh, they're always coming to you, not your team, right? So we had to make a shift and we shifted from marketing agency to media company. And the media company is a little bit different because in the media marketing agency, you have clients, you help them build their pieces out and you run traffic for them. It's called kinds of different agency work. It's, it's work for hire stuff, right? Well, the media company is a little bit different. You actually own the traffic. You own that traffic that people want to buy from you. So Facebook at the end of the day is part media company. They've got massive amounts of traffic that they own as well as Google has massive amounts of traffic that they own. So what we wanted to do was create that, our own source of traffic that people could buy from us. That's the one kind of tip I took from the guy that was getting paid 5,000 for 30 minutes worth of work. So we set out and said, how do we do this most effectively? And the way that we were gonna do that, one is I didn't want complicated funnels. I didn't wanna start out with having our own products and stuff like that. I just wanted to create a system where we could create passionate crowds of people and offer them products to buy. So we started breaking it down into different niches. You've got financial, you've got health, you've got survival, you got pet products, you got coaching, consulting, even that kind of stuff that could you know work with this. But we started fine tuning what those different products were and what markets and what people were in those products. Because we wanted people that are online and we wanted people that had money to spend online as well. So we fine tuned who that was and started testing a bunch of stuff up. And we ended up, I've tried some complicated funnels. I went against what I didn't want to do, but I tried it because I was so ingrained of doing it that way. But we stumbled upon the one step funnel. And the one step funnel has become the, the game changer for us. It was that secret sauce that took us and showed us that hockey stick curve in regards to performance and revenue uh, for the company. So the one-step funnel was allowing us to build really, really fast, passionate crowds of people. And then the great part about it is we partnered with companies that already have products available and they're willing to pay us for those products if we do bring them a buyer. And so we're able to put those products in front of them 
in those passionate crowds to start generating revenue for the company. And like I said, once we sorted out that one step funnel, we had that hockey stick curve growth, which worked out really well for us. And we've scaled that over the last year and a half to grow that company and it's gone past seven figures and we're growing on a consistent basis. It's been a lot of fun, it's been less stress. I'm working less, I went from working 70 hour weeks, working weekends to you take, not no longer taking calls on the weekend from clients or late at night. I'm actually now working four days a week, two to three hours a day on this business and it's been so much more fun, more relaxing and provided a better lifestyle for myself, my family and entertainment. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that difference of being a marketing agency owner versus being a media company. Highly recommend you make that shift if, if you're a little burnt out or you're looking for something different. Matter of fact, in the uh, comments of this video or below this video, I'll put a link to a whole training uh, case study and report that you can check out to learn more about that process as well. So if you got value from this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, comment, and share this video with someone that also will find value. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.